Anyway, hello everybody, and welcome back to another commands video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do something really cool on the sidebar over here. You see oh. uh, red server, command blocks, and also the command blocks is really cool because it's live. If you if I place more or destroy command blocks, it uh, changes. Then I have an entity count if I were to throw this, which I don't want to do. But anyway, it'll go up. And then a player count. There's David Online 2 right now, so uh, there is two player counts. I'm gonna go ahead and. I think there's some extra. Ent oh, those are just David's oh, oh, crafting it. dots. Sorry! <laughs> anyway! Um. You can kill items real quick, too. Today, yeah, I'm just gonna be showing you how to do that. I'll just do the entity count real quick. It's. These are testing for at E and testing for at A. Those are the entity count and player count, respectively. If you do block data, you can see that pretty much what I'm using is command stats. Now, command stats is also used in... It's pretty much a variation of slash stats. It's basically whatever thing you set up, like affected entities, affected items, etc. Um, it sets a specified player's score to match that number. Um, yeah, that's actually a pretty good explanation of it. So right here, this is pretty much the usage. Command stats, affected entities, objective, is red server, which is this. The affected entity's name is entity count. So, however many affected entities there are, is going to set entity count is going to be aligned with the player entity count's red server. Now, the reason these are colors is because, as I've explained in previous videos, we have a web-based console, so we can type the a required squiggle mark for the color coding. Uh, we just go into the console and do execute player block data under us. And then put in the colors that we need. You can also use, um, not world edit, but MC edit, that's it. Or other third party programs. So, it's testing for IE and it finds 31 things, so Entity Count's red server score is 31. Now it's pretty much the same thing with Player Count, it's just going to uh, the player named Player Count. And that's again affected entities. And then over here, we have the Command Block Count system. So what it's doing right here is it's cloning this whole line 30 blocks below it, and it's only cloning the command blocks. So, if you come down here, um, they're actually pretty much invisible because this is loaded last, uh, command blocks. And this is filling the same area with air replacing command blocks. Now, I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's... I think they both do it, really. No, this one. Um, affected block... Again, command stats. Uh, yeah, success count didn't really work. I was messing around with it. Affected block's name is command block, so this person. Success count objective... No, that's success count. That's... Again, not what we're doing. Affected blocks objective is red server. So, however many blocks is affected, and it's only copying the command blocks, so therefore, however many blocks are affected, its setting is in alignment with the command blocks player's red server score. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys. Actually, I'll quickly do stats entity at a set there we go here are the possible things that you can do like success count objective affected blocks objective that stuff you can do success count affected blocks affected entities now success count is just pretty much getting rid of comparators 
if the command block success count is 1 and it sets a player's score to 1, if the success count is 1, then you could execute at that player and stuff. Um, there's affected items, which is useful for slash clear. I think that's pretty much it. And then there's query result, which we haven't really found out what it does, but you can probably Google it. We're too lazy to. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching. If this helped you or you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a like. If you hated it, leave a like. Under any circumstances, basically leave a like. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, world download is in the description. Uh, this is the new snapshot. New snapshot. Redstone world. Whatever that is. Um, something like that. But anyway, yeah, download link is in the description. And yeah, once again, thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.